Hey YouTube, that pretty chick here. I'm here in um, Jamaica, as some of you may know. I think I'm going to post this video prior to posting the Jamaica vlog, just for my naturals out there that are, you know, on vacation and they just want some tips on how to set their hair in case they want to leave it out in a twist out, braid out, whatever the case may be. So I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna leave my hair in a twist out with the addition of some hair bee wax. So this hair paint wax, I actually won in a giveaway. I'll insert her Instagram down here. I received this at the most perfect timing because the whole package just came like maybe a few weeks before I left for Jamaica and this was included in it. So the reason I say it's perfect is because this is a hair paint wax that is 30 milliliters. And if you're a frequent traveler, you know that carry-ons really only allow for 100 mils slash 100 grams and under for every type of liquid or gel product that you carry in your carry-on. So this was perfect because it was obviously under 100 mils. So yeah, y'all are gonna see me take out my twist that I've worn for the past two days and apply my hair paint wax. Again, sorry to interrupt this regularly scheduled program, but I just wanted to show you guys how deceiving shrinkage can be because look at the length of my twists here versus this photo that I'm about to show you with my hair previously blow dried and then braided. That's crazy. Shrinkage is crazy. Okay, anyways, let's get back to the program. Let's get going, shall we? I'm just going to pull these twists out and then I'm going to apply my banding method right after. Stay tuned. Basically what I'm doing right now is just twisting in the opposite direction until I feel kind of like an opening in the twist, if you could see that. So this opening was just created for me twisting in the opposite direction and now I'm going to follow that opening and unravel that twist just like that. Then I'll continue to untwist very carefully to maintain, to maintain the style. And that's it. I usually pull them apart at the root so that they're not like intertwined into each other because you know black hair loves to tangle up. Loves to. Unless it's like super stretched or blow dried. But even then, you know. Anyways, maybe just speaking from my own hair's experience. But yeah, I'm doing the same thing over here. I just twist it in the opposite direction. And the twist happens to come out. So, by the way, what I used in order to achieve these twists was water and Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Gel. I'll put the two products up here of what I used. The reason I used those two products were because I find that when you go to an island, the humidity is just gonna literally frizz up your hair so quickly. So it's like you wanna use two products that are gonna like kind of firm up your twist out in order to maintain that twist out style. I think what I'm gonna do is probably put the hair paint wax on the frizzier pieces that I'm seeing just so the hair paint wax can kind of like define those pieces more. Okay, gotta use my bare finger. It's a color gold. So I'd like to um, style my hair paint wax in kind of like the streak style like give myself some streaks pretty much with the hair paint wax. It's just something recently that I've started doing. If you want some examples, here's my grad photo with the hair paint wax in. And a few other photos. I just kind of apply it all the way up. And as you can see, it's starting to get more defined with the hair paint wax. It's completely gold. And sometimes they do kind of require a bit of time to dry. I'm not gonna go in right away with the banding method just yet, just to allow them more time to dry, you know? Alrighty, so I'm gonna go back to playing my music and y'all can just watch me.
right guys, I'm all done. I think I'm gonna leave it like this though, cause mm. no, just no. I like to do is like a front bang look or like a parted side bang look, you know? So that's what, oh, that's some gold. That's what I'm gonna aim for. So we're going to bend our hair next. I'm gonna turn just this front section into bangs. Just taking a little bit from there and putting them together. Make sure you're grabbing from the root because that's where it's going to stretch from. Put my double tie around the root and pull into a figure eight and then go back and pull the other part through another figure eight. See it goes like this, figure eight and then grab with that same hand and pull it through but you want to make sure that figure eight is going down the length of the hair so you're gonna kind of keep it on this angle as you're pulling the hair through okay. then you always want to leave a little bit of the twist out left at the bottom Otherwise, if you go all the way down, then your the ends of your hair will not be defined anymore. It'll just be stretched out and straightened. I'm gonna take a different section. You achieve a twist out when you're in a hot climate. I used quite a bit of it too. Look, it's almost done. 30 mils for real. But this is really good actually. This is from ORS. It's definitely temporary. A temporary hair makeup wax is what they call it. And it's a moisturizing beeswax. No harmful ingredients, you know, just it's literally just to style your hair temporarily. So after you're done this, you want to secure it with a bonnet. I use my jumbo bonnet so that all my little bands can fit in it. Just like that. No parts hanging out or anything like that. Everything's covered under your bonnet. That's all. Thanks again for watching, guys. And always remember, natural hair grows. Don't you forget it. <laughs>